Hi, I'm Peter and this is Chris. And we've been catching up on some TV from the last year. Let us know what we should watch next in the comment section below. Or don't, I mean, yeah. like, whatever. <laughs> it's you've been framed! Whoa! Oh, that hit me Whoa. on the head! <laughs> Trampolines! Do you know what annoys me about this show? How fucking good-natured it is. Like, this gets me seething. It's been out for so long now, you forget it exists. It's funny coming back to it after a good six years of hardcore interneting. Do you know? Sure, it seems relatively tame. We're so desensitized to the most horrific videos you can imagine. They need a gore section. This is the Taliban executing a man. <laughs> yeah, and be... they should leave in that stupid laugh track as well. <laughs> and they should, they should just... <laughs> yeah, there should be you be framed. Lively condition. Exactly. <laughs> I wonder when Harry Hill is recording the narration for this program, does he begin to resent the participants? See this clip with the guy on the quad bike? He's probably like, please break your legs. While well, chain smoking and drinking a really strong scotch. Yeah. Just hoping for please. dismemberment or please some sort of your arm. <laughs> yeah. please. horrible disfigurement. Can we go back to Live League? I'd actually rather watch a Turkish knife fight at this point. <laughs> Splash! Um, Splash! Well done for being able to make a show out of this, but this takes some level of ingenuity to think, <laughs> let's make a show about people diving into a swimming pool yeah. that goes on for half an hour. Celebrities falling with style. Wouldn't there be something brilliant if instead of this woman they got Michael Barrymore to present this show? <laughs> Michael Barrymore, yeah. pool party. That's what they should call it. <laughs> they could have done so much better. Like, imagine, right, you're, you flick on your Skybox, okay? You turn on Sky Plus, you see, oh, at 9 o'clock we have whatever Dickinson's fucking antiques roadshow. <laughs> then at 10 o'clock, Michael Barrymore's pool party. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Nearly drowned in the tsunami in Thailand. How come every show like this pretends to have a deeper meaning? By doing this then, hopefully, you can overcome your fear of water. Five seconds later... <laughs> when did TV become so bipolar? The people are all real. <coughs> Bullshit. We better chow we? Oh uh, yeah. The only way is Essex. Yes. That acronym confused me for mm. years. One of my favourite things to do is just to type the name of the show into Twitter while it's on TV to see what everyone else is feeling. Maybe we need to get some perspective on this. In court, Woha says, Please follow us. We are students raising money to educate children in India and Africa. Thanks! Only way is Essex is definitely the outfit you want associated yes. with you if you are educating children in India and Africa. I mean, it's okay. The children might be impoverished and vulnerable. I thought I'd be in Africa. I've been having chicken fillets in Navagino. But maybe the cast can help them apply fake tan and makeup in such a way that it kind of makes them look a mm. little bit healthier again. Like sparkles coming out my eyes. The brightest white teeth but like on a smaller version exactly the, the cast of the only way is Essex could go down and be like oh honey we're gonna get rid of those bags under your eyes yeah you look terrible those those kidney spots on you they look awful we can't do anything for your river blindness but, but we can give you amazing eyelashes uh, yeah, you, yeah, your yeah. eyelashes will look so full and volumized <laughs> they'll take away from that watering pus 